Hey guys, welcome back. So big changes are happening around here. So I have changed my meal prepping regimen. What? Yeah, I don't really like change. I don't like it. Um, I like to stay very consistent because change kind of freaks me out. But I found something that's even easier to meal prep. So I absolutely have to try it. Um, because if you're looking for something that you can just put in and just leave it and then it's ready, this is it. This one is just straight so easy. If you like potatoes, this is for you. If you're on a low carb diet, maybe just do it for the chicken and the veggies. All right. So let's get started with what you're going to need. You're going to need five chicken breasts. You're going to need a crock pot. This is already warming up. You're gonna need soy sauce, ketchup, garlic, a little bit of garlic, salt, some oregano, and paprika. Then you're gonna need potatoes, about six or seven, and some green beans. So the green beans I went ahead and I put back in the freezer because you don't need those until the very end. It's the last 15 minutes. So I'm gonna chop the potatoes, I am gonna keep the skins on. Um, there's added nutrients in them if you keep the skins on. I'm just gonna make sure to wash them. Okay, so while I'm chopping these potatoes, I'm gonna chop them into triangles and I'll show you guys afterward. But while I'm chopping them, I thought I would discuss how I was doing a heavy squat day and a heavy deadlift day and why I'm not doing that anymore. So as I mentioned in my Monday video, um, I don't like to have a routine to go into the gym. Don't get me wrong. I think that starting off, you should have a routine and a good layout. Um, but I did that for like three years. And now I kind of just like to go into the gym and like play. So did I like the improvements I saw? I did. I liked them. Um, I saw good improvements. I saw a lot of strength improvements, especially in my deadlift. I made sure to try and increase my weight every single week on deadlifts and squats. And I think that's a big part of it. And something that if you're trying to increase the weight that you do, something that you need to be very conscious of doing and have a spot there or self spot bar to do it. Because if you're not pushing the weight, you're not gonna see an increase in the amount of weight you're able to push. Like I said, the only reason I didn't like it is because I don't like having a routine. But I do think that if you guys are looking to tone and to uh, and grow strength, I loved it for that. Um, and if I liked a routine, I think I would continue with that. But I don't like going into the gym and being like, oh, I have to deadlift heavy today or I have to squat heavy today. So that's why it just didn't work for me. I work better just free ball in it, you know? Free for all. Okay, so I have chopped up three of the potatoes and I do them into triangles. So in order to do that, I cut the potato in half. And you've got two halves. And then from there, I cut it in half again. And do little triangles. So I'll do these other three as the top layer. So now that I have the bottom layer of potatoes, I'm going to add in the chicken. And then I will cut up the rest of these, put them on top, and then we will make the sauce. Okay, sorry guys, I forgot. You also need brown sugar for the um, the sauce. Okay, a little bit of brown sugar. So let's get into making the sauce. So we're gonna start with the soy sauce. You need one, you need a half a cup. So I have just a measuring cup right here. So I'll measure it up to the half a cup. And I am doing low sodium. This is 45% less sodium. Soy sauce. Then we need one fourth cup of brown sugar. 
also one fourth cup of ketchup. Then we need one tablespoon of garlic. This is half a tablespoon, so I'm gonna do two scoops. Two teaspoons of oregano. And a teaspoon of garlic salt. So now we're gonna mix this. Pour it evenly across the top. Across the top. And you're done. Four hours on the clock. All right, guys, so you will keep that in the crock pot on high for four hours. After four hours, or even 15 minutes before the four hours are done, put in a layer of green beans. And I will also be showing that. But I know it can be discouraging, the mixture of the sauce, because it's a lot of weird things with, like, the brown sugar, the ketchup. I was concerned if it would come out good, but it is so yummy. So just give it a try. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So it has been four hours. So we are going to go ahead and take this off. Ooh, it looks so good. It smells so good. And we are going to add in just a top layer of green beans. So now we will leave that in for 15 minutes. Let them get a little soft. Okay, so now let's divvy out these green beans. Chicken is just like falling apart because it's perfect. Bring in the big dogs. So I've gotten the chicken out, and now it's mostly just potatoes. A little bit of green beans that I didn't get out. So I'm gonna take these out and do about two scoops in each container. Alrighty guys, that is going to be it for this meal prepping video. Sorry that it got a little quiet at the end. Um, my husband had fallen asleep and so I was trying to be quiet. It's now the next day. But I was able to do five containers. I did put a little bit more of the frozen green beans in each container just to have more vegetable. And then when I heat it up in the microwave, those um, green beans will thaw out and be good to eat. Everything will be left in the description box below, the entire recipe and time and everything, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, always be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna keep seeing my videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.